And welcome back to Ozark Live. The Lost and Found Grief Center's Chalk Art. Oh my gosh, Chalk Art Contest is going down this weekend in here with all the details are Mark and Matt. Guys, we're pumped to have you here in studio. How are you? Well, hey, Good thank you both of you. Thanks so much for having us in, you know. Uh, so just really quick, just about Lost and Found Grief yeah. Center. Uh, 2025, we're celebrating 25 years of providing help, hope, and healing to Love people that. in the Ozarks who are grieving. Uh, and all of our therapeutic grief support services are free. Uh, the groups are free and individual counseling yeah. is, uh, is fee-based, but it's, it's gonna be a lot less than you pay for a uh, counselor. And we're located right there on 1555 South Glenstone, what one young participant calls that spinny heart place. <laughs> yes. but, uh, but Matt is on our junior board and Chalk Art has always kind of been his baby and you've kind of spun this up. And what, why don't you tell everybody about Chalk Art? Uh, so we have a uh, community event. It's not really a fundraiser. This is more of an awareness campaign for the community to come together with their families. Uh, we have three age groups, uh, and then each age group will also be up for winning a $50 gift card. Very cool. uh, so last year, the funnest part for me was able to go back and call these three winners of these smaller age groups and hear their stories of why they came out and did some of this sidewalk chalk for their family member that they may have lost or whatnot. So, what, what do you hope to accomplish by having something like this? Uh, really just to spread the word for what Lost and Found does. Mm -hmm. uh, as Mark hinted a little bit ago, uh, Lost and Found was at the very beginning stages of whenever we lost our son. Uh, our son was four days old and didn't really know where to go, didn't know where to turn to for advice and how to grieve, you know, small child anyway. Uh, so my wife looked online at lots of blogs, things like that. Uh, but, you know, once I found out about Lost and Found, uh, I actually sought them out and wanted to be a part of their organization mm. to tell people what it's like to not have it, basically. Uh, and having all these groups that we have, mm -hmm. it's, it's really amazing to watch people go from being in total grief to being helped along the way. Right, absolutely. Well, and you've got a personal connection to this cause as well, right? I do. Uh, I unfortunately lost a son as well. Mm -hmm. I lost my son Luke uh, in 2019. He was mm. 20 years old, a Glendale graduate, 2017, and he was a uh, college uh, student and track athlete and developed epilepsy and he had a, uh, just in college, developed mm -hmm. epilepsy, had a seizure in his sleep and um, died in his, in his sleep. And so I was a participant uh, at Lost and Found Grief Center. And it really, um, therapeutic grief support helped uh, my wife and me and really while I'm sitting here today. So when the opportunity came on, uh, last spring I started hearing about it for the executive director position. I said, this is something, uh, yeah, I'm a former communicator, like, yeah. like you two. Uh, <laughs> where I used to used to work in this studio uh, a little while ago, but uh, th th that I could use some of those skills mm -hmm. to raise awareness for yeah. Lost and Found Grief Center. And I think that's what Matt was saying, is that the chalk art contest, and we saw some of the images while you were talking, Matt, uh, it's really just to aware raise awareness about Lost and Found. I mean, if you want to come out and do an art piece about somebody you're grieving, it may be it could be a celebrity that you that you love, yeah. you know what I mean? But it could be somebody very personal to you yeah. who can do that art. Do, does this kind of, it, what it sounds like to me, does this kind of focus or nurture the idea of letting people know you're not alone mm. in what you're going through? Mm -hmm. That's exactly right. Yeah. And that's exactly why I wanted it to be a group event. Uh, because you do feel like you're on an island, am I right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, when you lose a child, you lose a family member, a dad, a, a mom, anybody, you feel like you're on an island, your friends get strange, your, your mm -hmm. even close friends, get, yeah. they get kind of strange on what to say, what not to say. Mm -hmm. um, you know, lots of things go through your head that sometimes you just want to feel normal for a second. Yeah. And make it feel like you're not on an island by yourself with mm -hmm. all this grief. So uh, that's what this is specifically designed to do is get these people around other people. Maybe they make a connection that day. Uh, maybe they make a connection with us where they want to come back and have our services. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, but this is fully an awareness campaign. There's no money involved unless you win $50 for your age group. <laughs> That's incredible. Well, and it really is such a relative feeling, and there's so many people that have experienced that or will experience that, however you look at that. Right. So people want more information, want to use this as a resource, or just want to keep up with the chalk contest. How do they go about getting that? You, you just go to lostandfoundozarks.com, okay. or if you go to Lost and Found Ozarks, our Facebook page, yeah. we have an event on there. But it is this Saturday, 2 to 5, Nixon's Rotary Park. Matt's providing the chalk, so and it, it is it's completely free, just like our therapeutic grief support. I love it's that. free to the people yeah. we support. Yeah, well, guys, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. Thanks for having thank us. Yes, good, good stuff. Both. All right, well, coming up, we